Good morning and welcome to Friday's phonics session. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different today actually because um, it's just a one-off lesson um, because you've been doing some phonics with Miss Walsh. That will carry on, those phonics lessons like that will carry on after half term but we just had this one-off lesson so we thought we would do something a little bit different. So we're going to be looking today at homophones. Okay, now you might not have heard of those before, but hopefully by the end of the session, you will know what they are. Now, in the, in the picture, I wondered if you could have a little look and you can see some lovely, lovely pink, orange, oh, a sunflower there. You can see some lovely, pretty flowers. But we've also got a bag of flower here. And that is a little clue about perhaps what homophones might be. So I wonder if you could just pause and have a chat perhaps with someone that's there with you about what you think homophones might be. So we've got actual flowers, but then we've got a bag of flowers as well. Okay, if you, you might have got something similar to this, you might have had a little chat about it, and you might have noticed that flower and flower sound the same, but they are spelt differently. And homophones are words that are spelt differently, have different meanings, yet they sound the same. And we always say in school that, unfortunately, the English language is very tricky because we have, as we know from phonics and what you've been doing in phonics with Miss Walsh, there are lots of ways to spell different sound. Um, the sound. So for E, for instance, we've got E, what can I see? We've got E, cup of tea. We've got E, Pete and Steve. Uh, that are our little phonics saying. There's lots of them, but they're all spelt differently and they're put into words that um, sound the same, but they're spelt differently. And that is what homophone means. It means they've got the same sound. So hom homo means same, phone means sound. So we're going to look at some of these today. So for example, we've got a pair of shoes, spelt P, air, air, that's not fair. Then we've got the fruit pair. Okay, now these have got completely different meanings, they're completely different things, and they are spelt differently. We've got pear, the fruit there. Um, here's another example. We've got weak, oh the man is weak, he's a little bit old, so he's being a little bit weak. His muscles aren't as strong as they used to be, so he's being a little bit weak. And we've got E, cup of tea in the middle there. And then we can also have weak, as in this week we are learning about homophones. Okay, and that's spelled E, what can I see? So I wonder now if you can just pause the video, see if you can think of any um, homophones. Have a little think. You might have come up with some in your phonics lessons this week. You might not have, uh, but have a little think. Pause the video. Okay, I wonder if you came up with any of these. So I've got break. Let's go out. Let's have a break. push the pedals, uh, push the brakes on your pedals, or pull the brakes on your pedals. So again, sound the same, but spelt completely differently, and they're completely different things. Here, come over here. Oh, what can I hear? What can I hear? Again, sound the same, different meanings, spelt differently. Night. At night time, I can hear an owl at night time I can hear an owl, so night, and I wonder if you can think of the other nut type of night. Now you all adult with you. Yes, you should have come up with night, as in um, a knight in shining armour. Okay. We've also now got buy. I'm going to buy some food. I'm going to the shop to buy some food. Um, and the other buy um by myself i'm by myself in the classroom because you aren't here by myself okay so if you want to hear some more i have attached a little song i know uh, we really enjoyed the sonification song last week so i found a little song about homophones if you want to have a little listen to that now pause the video and go on the link on the timetable that was sent out okay But today we are going to concentrate on three homophones in particular. Well, one. 
These words all sound the same, but they are spelt differently and have different meanings. I wonder if you could read those words before I do on the screen there. Hopefully you said two, two, two. They all sound the same, but they have different meanings and they are spelt differently. So we're going to look a little bit closer into these today. Then you've got a little activity to do on these three words. So two, T-O, two is a preposition when it comes before a noun. So it tells us where it's going. The children are going to the shop. And hopefully you remembered what a noun is. A noun is the naming word. Remember, noun is a naming word. Okay, so the children are going to the shop. Shop is the noun and to is used before that. They went to London. London is the noun and it's got a capital letter because it's the name of a place as well. So that noun needs a capital. So they are going to London. We wouldn't just say they went London. We need that word there. They went to London. And if we put to the number two, T-W-O, that wouldn't quite be right because that's the number two. They went to London. They're telling us where they're going. Can it be also used before a verb? Um, I need, well, that's the other one. I need to go to work today. To work. Work is, oh, can you remember what a verb is? Verb is a doing word. So work is the doing word. I need to go to work today. And then I'm going to tidy the house tomorrow. To tidy. We wouldn't say I'm going tidy the house. We need that to there. I'm going to tidy the house tomorrow. Okay, now this one we don't see too much and we might not have seen very much in school. But when we're sounding out, we might actually come up with this because it's t, t, oo. It sounds like it should be that because it sounds like our one of our sounds. Okay, but two, you use this spelling of two when it can mean as well and also. So, may I come shopping? Two. I like cakes. But I like biscuits too. Okay, it's saying you like it as well, or also. Oh, these look very yummy. Mmm, very nice. Um, but it can also be used to show excess, which means how much of something. I have eaten too much food. Okay, too much of it. I'm feeling poorly after eating too much food. The bag was too heavy. It's so heavy. I'm ha my arms are really hurting. The bag was too heavy. Okay, it's showing excess of how much of something. It's too heavy. And the last one, we should all know this because we've learned how to spell this. It's our number two, isn't it? Two means the number two. There are two dogs running in the park. I have two brothers and one sister. Okay. There's our two brothers, one sister. Okay, so there are three twos. Two, two, and two. So, oh, there's a sentence here that's used all three of them. So, two children wanted to catch the bus to school, but they were too late. So, there's our number two. There's our two before um, the verb, what they're doing to catch the bus to school. There's a noun but they were too late, okay? There is actually a little, um, I'm going to show you a little clip now, oh, where is it, on here, and it's just explaining the twos a bit more, and there's some funny, funny ways that they use it here. So if you just want to have a watch of this. When words bring the same but are spelled differently, we call them homophones, like two, two, and two. There's two, like I'm going to the beach. Then there's two, meaning also or extremely, and finally the number two. It looks like someone's going to a party, and you're going to. Two monsters are going to party. Hang on, you two. Wasn't somebody else invited to the party too? <laughs> oh, um, uh, there you are. Now you can go to the party too with these two. Oh, um, uh, nice tutu, by the way. Okay, so that's just a funny little video 
of using 2, 2 and 2. So your task today is you're going to have some sentences. It just, again, it just explains at the top here what homophones are and what they're used for, the 2, 2 and 2. Okay, then you need to fill in the gaps with either 2, 2 or 2. So you've got to read the sentence and think about which 2 is missing. Okay, remember it tells you up here if you're not sure, 2 going towards something used with a verb, or if it, remember we did or a noun. Too much can also mean too much of something, or it can also mean also, and then obviously the number 2. So let's just, I'll just read the first one for you. I ate too many cakes at the party. Is it too, are they, well it sounds like they've eaten a little bit too much of something. So it's not going to be the, it's not going to be the number 2. So it's out of these two. Is it going somewhere? Is it next to a noun? Or have they eaten too much of something? They've eaten excess of it. So I think it's this one here, the first one. Okay, I, I ate too many cakes at the party. Okay, your job is to have complete that this morning. Okay, there's no comprehension questions this morning. So it will just be, um, if you've got a reading book with you, that would be great. Okay, right, have a good last day um, before half term. You've got a week off, so keep going. Um, you're doing so well. Okay, have a good day. Bye.